friends today let's see how to generate credit notes in odoo 50 so a credit note can also be called as a credit memo so it is a document issued to the customer that notifies them they have been credited a certain amount so there are different reasons that can lead to generation of credit note like if you found a mistake in the generated invoice or if there is a return of goods or rejection of services by customers and if the delivered goods are damaged. So here you can find all the customer invoices. So let's create a new invoice. You can add the customer here. Then you can view his delivery address, can add payment reference, then can set the invoice date and due date of the invoice. Or you can choose a payment term. So according to that, the uh, due date will be adjusted. Then uh, here we can find the journal and currency. Now let's add some products. I'm generating an invoice for three quantity of this product. So after that, you can confirm the invoice. And after confirmation, if the payment is done by the customer, we can register the payment from here. So you can find a button here to add credit note. So after generating the invoice and confirming the invoice, it is possible to generate a credit note, issue a credit note for the customer. And you can also issue credit note even after the payment registration also. So here you can click on add credit note and here we have to choose a credit method. So for this, you can find three options. First one is that we can create a partial refund. So a draft credit note will be generated and we can edit before uh, being issued and we can generate a full refund. So in this case, an auto-validated credit note will be generated and it will be reconciled with the invoice. And the third one is we can create full refund. So in this case, full refund can be created and a credit note will be generated which is auto-validated and reconciled with the invoice. So in this case, the original invoice will be duplicated and created as a new draft. So after choosing the credit method, you have to provide the reason why you are issuing the credit note. So here I'm choosing the first method, partial refund. And here we can choose a reversal date. Uh, so here we can use the journal entry date or we can provide a specific reversal date. Then we can use specific journal for this credit note. After that, we can click on reverse. So you can see a reverse invoice is generated. That is customer credit note is generated. And here we can find the reference of this generated credit note. So inside this draft invoice, you can uh, view the details we have provided inside the invoice, like invoice line. After editing the invoice line, we can save and confirm this credit note. We have confirmed the credit note and we can find the entries here. So we can see the entries related to the invoice and the reverse invoice that we have just generated. And here we can find the reference and the reason of generation of the credit note. And we can also track credit notes by 
clicking on this menu credit notes then find one reverse invoice created and it's also possible to generate credit notes from this page so here we can directly click on create and choose a customer and after adding invoice line we can confirm it and make the payment now here let me open a post to invoice and create a full refund so here you can see a full refund is created that is a credit note is issued which is auto validated so here you can see odo have created a credit note which is automatically validated and reconciled with the original invoice you can see this issued credit note is confirmed and the payment is registered and below you can see when you click on this icon you can find that it is reconciled with the original invoice and if you want to unreconcile you can just click on this now let me open another invoice and you can see this invoice is already confirmed now we can click on the credit note and here i'm choosing the third option to create full refund and new draft invoice so here we can find the draft invoice generated so in this case odo creates a credit note and automatically validates it and reconciles the original invoice with it and opens a new draft invoice prefilled with the same details from the original invoice so that's all for this video and if you want to know more about how to create a customer invoice and when the bill and how the accounts are affected you can check the link above and don't forget to subscribe our channel to get latest updates